Okay, shall we get started? Hello everyone. Welcome to stream. I'm about an hour early. And you all know it's because Vine Source finished an hour early, or you could you could guess. <laughs> but I'm really glad um, that it worked out this way because I would like to do the plot or as much of the plot leading up to the um, the battle with the champion section as I can tonight. Uh, and I also can't go too late because I have to be up really early tomorrow to be on a bus to um, to Sydney tomorrow morning. So um, that's life. All right, let's start. Let me uh, let me get some shit out of the way here. Specifically, this, which is not shit. All right, and uh, we do this. Asher, and thank you for the resub. Four months. Four months of wasting money here. Wow. Awesome. Guys, is, um, is, does it, does the video look a little crusty to you? Or is it just me because my eyes are tired and also because I'm used to playing this on the small screen and now I'm looking at it much bigger? Asher and you're going to Sydney to see the circus, that's amazing. Skelly, I'm going to read your thing in a minute. I want to know what other people are seeing in terms of the video crossed or non-crossed first. Com can't see because they haven't slept for hours and hours and hours and hours, so that's fair enough. <laughs> You think you're overdosing on vitamin C? That's probably not good for you, my dude. <laughs> Please stop doing that. <laughs> Looks fine. Do you scale toxin? All right, that's good enough. Um, check out my my makeover that I've given my trainer, by the way. Is there like a, a good way to show you that? You can't see it on the league card. Hang on, I'll go into um, I'll go into the the clothing store so you can see properly. Asher on mobile, so it looks fine. Okay, well that's fine. I mean. I've been looking at this mostly on um, the Switch screen as well, so let's go. Get in there. Get in. Yeah. Skelly has given us a cursed factoid. Now, factoids usually refers to something that you can't prove whether it's true or not. So, do you mean a factoid or small facts? Pharmaceutical companies don't regulate overseas operations for production of generic medications, so dosages aren't accurate. Well, I'm not quite sure what you mean, but I do know that you have to have like a specific, um, a specific, um, like copyright or something for each. For, for medications for each country. So I do know that drugs are much less expensive in the United States. So I don't know about less effective, but I know they're much less expensive. Um, and as to dosages, hang on. Do you mean, um, do you mean like, you know, Pfizer or something? They're like the same medication branded as them, regard, uh, re depending on whether they sell it in like, America or India, or do you mean like the medication penicillin, whether it's sold by whatever company in the US versus made generically overseas? Because I know that generic medications are much cheaper and just as effective in other countries. Not least because Australia is one of those um, countries in which we can get certain medications generically. But I mean like India and Indonesia and stuff like that, it's much cheaper again. Com is asking, do I dress like this IRL? No, but I wish I could carry this off. This is so cool. I do IRL like um, black with bright popping colors on it. I like that. And I had this haircut um, when I was about 24, something like that. My hair doesn't sit nice and flat and round like this because I have very thick hair. Um, but I had it more or less this color, like a bit more realistic, a bit more brown, a bit less purple. But I had this haircut, basically, without a fringe, though. 
and I'm not sure I would have the uh, the confidence to pull off that level of midriff. Maybe lower the uh, lower the shirt a couple of inches and raise the pants an inch or so, and um, I'd be willing to wear that IRL. All right, uh, where is where is where is back button. Now I've, I've confused my brain because I'm looking at a controller. It's fine when I'm using the Switch, but the moment I get a controller in my hand, um, I'm like, which bit button is A? Which button is B? Yes, I'm going to get my current look. Blastian, hello, Blastian, says, if all else fails, just go out looking like a Team Yell Goon. Well, there is a reason for that. Apart from the fact that it looks fucking awesome, um, we are going somewhere with Piers, the dark type gym leader, who sort of is the leader of Team Yell. So I have played this since I last streamed it, but I've just been um, mucking around. I can't remember. Did I beat Hop and Marnie on stream or off stream? Because I've beaten them. Um, and now, before I beat Leon, he had to go off somewhere because there's some kind of emergency. And um, Piers has rocked up and he's going to help me. But some weird shit's going on and he's going to bring Team Yell with him. Um, so I'm going to be Team Yell as well. And that is why I picked this color scheme, but I also really like it. Ashran says, I enjoy the mega low slung backpack. Yeah, I also really enjoy it. It looks great. It will fuck your back up. Oh, I'm supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to drink water. I um, had to be outside most of this afternoon. It was quite warm uh, where I was. So um, I probably already am dehydrated coming into the stream. Uh, so please make sure I do take those drinks. I, um, I might have to take a break halfway through the stream to actually get more water. Cool. Alrighty. Skull Toxin saying it's when they're produced generically in other countries and imported for consumption in the States because the pharmaceutical companies don't have to abide by the same regulations of production. Uh, the precision of production isn't always as tight. Well, in Australia, medication coming in has to be tested. Obviously, they don't test every pill, but they do test some of it, um, and it has to pass that. Com says, do I mute when I sip or am I sneaky? Well, I'm going to sip now. You tell me if you can hear it or not. I thought you could hear it, because I can hear the glug, glug, glug of the water. You tell me. Did you hear that? Loud. Go for heard it. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, cool. Bail it. Com, do you just have the sound really low or perhaps your ears have stopped working because you need to sleep? Alright, let's go. Oh shit, I have to do voices. Fuck. Alright. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Linny. Linny. We decided that Team Yo will cheer you on, Lenny. Let's help out together. It's more Peko. I have one of those now. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Miss Oleana. Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only authorised personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy these kinds of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Oh shit, do I have to like... Memorize this guy. T turn around. I need to look at your ass like in Metal Gear Solid. That's gender equality. Do you think you can find me? All right. Well, I looked his ass just in case that is the um, the way to do it. What should we do? This isn't good, but I got this one. Lenny, Team Yells Yellow will handle this. 
Com, can you hear me? Are you sure you aren't just hallucinating? Shit, guys, what if we're all Com's hallucination from him not sleeping? Fuck! I don't want to be a hallucination! No, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yes. All right, let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. He's got the most... I haven't decided on a voice for him yet, so literally every sentence he says is a different accent. Bloody hell. Let's find Oleana's league staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? All right. Um, well, he's wearing normal shades. We're crazy busy because of the Champion Cup, and yet I can't go to Rose Tower. Some league staff aren't doing their jobs. Hello, Team Yell. How are you going? I'm looking for something to look for. Good, good, good for you, buddy. Hey, show me your eyes. Show me your beautiful eyes. Hey, Linny, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so that you'll have no choice but to look this way. Um, guys, give me a real weird uh, conspiracy theory to shout at this man. Cobb, you don't think you could imagine my terrible voices? Wow. All right, flat, flat holographic, hang on, I'm, I'm English too, shit. Um, flat holographic moon confirmed. Poop is not real. The earth is hollow and there's a star inside it. Uh, also, we already have the key, you know. What? <laughs> this idiot. Blast, I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. I don't remember if I um, healed my team before I started this fight. Macrocosmos's Eric. Okay, Macrocosmos is the the corporation, I guess. Poop is stored in the moon. Oh my God, Cobb! Don't you? How dare you? <laughs> See, you don't need to sleep. You can still come up with that. Um, so you may notice I'm a little bit over-leveled uh, because I've been running around the wild area catching Pokemon and um, having fun um, because I couldn't continue with the plot. So I am massively over-leveled right now, but that's all right. Experience points do nothing. It's just using all steel types, so you know what? I'm gonna keep my beautiful um, Arcanine out front. Com says, did that word mean a bad in AU? It, yeah, it, it does, yes. I mean, you know, it generally, um, it generally is a bad word in English, right? We actually have a town in Australia called Yapoon. We do, we do, it exists. Uh, they've just had a fire go through there, so it's one we're trying not to joke about at the moment. My cheers will really get you going. Thanks for the help. I only have one shitty British accent, but it's like a combination of all the accents. Someone po pointed out on Twitter, and I don't remember if this was someone I know and follow and pot potentially is in the... Uh, chat at the moment or if it was someone else but someone said um, I can't believe that the game reminds you that the Pokemon say they look like they want to be petted but you can't fucking pet them anymore and I thought that's correct what the fuck A hey, Paul leveled up. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. Hang on, I should give these guys like a 
a more refined British accent. Otherwise, they're all just going to sound like they're Cockneys. Um, don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turned around. All I need to do is hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know how to do received. All I need to do is hide and I won't have to give you the key. Give me a little bit longer and I'll more or less have it. You should wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got no idea where he went, Gov. Maybe I should keep my mouth more closed when I'm uh, when I'm speaking as these guys. For this, for this badly, and if I this badly stop, remember, I just lose the sunglasses. All right, that's sort of right. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. How do you find me? Or did you just talk to everyone you met? Dude, you, you went like 20 meters. Bah, oh, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. Did he run to the Pokemon Center first, you reckon, to heal his team up? Oops, knocked the mic. He must have run into the Pokemon Center, swapped his team out for some new Pokemon, and then just like randomly stood next to these people because he saw me coming. Celestian, what's that from? I, I don't know. Is it from Black Books? Oh, I've got a stretch. I want to make sure I do my stretches. I know I've been very naughty with my, my stretching and my hydrating recently. I haven't been taking care of myself properly, so I'll make more of an effort. You made it up to sound like something from Black Books. Okie dokie. Excadrill. I don't remember this Pokemon, but it sounds like it might be a ground type. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Ringo. I don't think I have um, many people in... Um, in America, from America, in the chat right now because it's fucking um, late. But I hope you had a good turkey day, uh, if you did. Uh, and if you are, and you did, and you will be, and all that all that stuff. I can't speak, don't worry about it. Feel that flow, yeah, you feeling it, Linny? Let's go. Pokemon, let's go. Gopher says, what's with the dizzy music? It's exciting, Gopher. What are you talking about? And I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. I have um, George holding the amulet coin so that I can get lots of money because I spent so much money on clothing that I have like almost no money left. <laughs> They say, mm, they say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. And he fucks off again. Uh, everyone, everyone's good to go. Everything was a one-hit kill right then, wasn't it? Yes, because I am 10 levels over-leveled. Good. Okie dokie. Real subtle! Real fucking subtle! You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. Dude, you're talking to the future champion. Don't even play. I killed the evolution of one of those by accident in the wild area before I started streaming. It was the same level. You are a dead man. Skeletoxin, you love wood. That's definitely a not, like, you couldn't take that out of context, right? Uh, no, I think we're good. Yeah, have some of my support. I know you can keep the beat going. Hey, this is nice. They're friends now. 
You're the best, Mani. Uh, I think it probably has high regular defense, right? <laughs> That's right, Com. He got the eating wood perk in Darkwood. You know, I didn't expect Arcanine to become my most used Pokemon in this game, but um, there you go. Hiding didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run. Gopher says, what just happened? Do you have a cheerleading squad now? Yes, Marnie is, um, Marnie is, um, Marnie and her brother and Team Yell are helping us out now. Seems like you've got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful from Miss Oleano is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Just, why don't you just literally burn him to death with your Arcanine? Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that league. Hang on, no. I want him to be like kind of cockneyish, but also kind of like low voiced. Hmm. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that league staff member at the station together. Hello, Shiny. How are you doing? Shiny, you're, um, are you, are you US? Happy turkey, if so. Oh, fuck. Now they're all wearing sunglasses. You did a cracking job of cornering that bag, lead staff member, Linny. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rocking deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is sing a humble song. Are you going to sing it with like an x cloud? Maybe I can't cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy. Maybe I can't help. But still the only thing I can do is sing, sing my humble song. This guy's fucking going mental with a double Vavuzula. Piz! Go Piz! That actually was Australian. Let's pretend she's like an expat. Agent that Piz, why is he doing a street performance? I think you made a street performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Oh, I see. He's like, he's drawing attention. Sneaky. Oh man, they're rocking out! Oh, that's so cute! The raccoons are rocking out! Oh, I love it! We got the key, Pierce. We can take the monorail to Rose Tower now. How did that work? What the fuck? Lenny, hop. Now's your chance. Go, get out of here. He has squid hair, yes. I love his hair. All right. So this is Rose Tower. Just how cool do you think it is? I can't even, I forgot to read that before I pressed A. Wow, good, 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 good streamer. So what should we do? Team Yell is going to have their hands for holding up those bag lead staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Lily, what should we do? Um, fuck it. Uh, my, my team is literally go... My, my team probably could burn down the actual tower at this time um, with no help from anything external. So, you know, let's go ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the Champion Cup. Lily, you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems that exact lady lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. Oh, his peers. Peers must have just like severe back pain being, first of all, with all that hair, and second of all, being hunched over all the time. Times like this. When tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Myth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? 
You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. Got to stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? <laughs> Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Linny. All right, well, we got to talk to these guys first to see if they have anything fun to say. Uh, the exact same thing, all right. All righty. Let's see. I really should put jean Vive out front, but... Um, oh, I redid my league card, by the way, when I was half... Um, half changed into the current outfit. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I like it. I enjoy. I wish I looked like that in real life. Let's go, Denny. I'm sorry, but first I have to run around like the uh, the side of um, the building to see if there's any hidden items, which of course there are. An electric seed. Boost defense on electric terrain can only be used once. Well, that's kind of useful. Com, you actually look like that IRL with the purple eyes and everything. Cell battery. It boosts attack if the holder is hit with an electric type attack, can only be used once. I hate these only used once items. Oh, I've got to take a drink of water. Okay. Remember, I've got to be I've got to be disciplined about it. The uh, the drinking this time. I'm sorry, but I see um I see in the chat a, gu a alleged guitar turn called Humbucker. What in good God's name is a humbucker. Ash, um, see, see you around. I will be going for a while, I think, tonight. It's a brand, a kind of pickup, okay. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Get off the flowers! Oh, I see they're under glass. Listen, Lenny, I don't know if you know this already, but I've heard Rose Tower's bit on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift gets to the top. Rose Tower has like 100 floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Um, this is Oleana reading out, so intruder alert. Mm, fuck, Jesus, that's a bad voice. Intruder alert, intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. I'm doing James, I just realized. I'm doing James from the Pokemon anime. That's fine. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. It's two pickups set together with opposite polarities to basically nullify any hum from anything around it. Oh, that's cool. How did I manage to get, like, three people with enough guitar knowledge to, like, talk at this level in the chat? I enjoy. I appreciate you guys being here in Talking Shop. They're all using steel types, and I've chosen to have a fire type as my main Pokemon. This was very fortuitous. Oh boy. S keeps, keeps leveling up. Having to give up my pocket money, losing means I'm back in the red. P pocket money? Are you 12? Are you like two small children in a man suit? M my bonus. My dream of finally affording a house of my own. Fuck, that's dark. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. 
Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly Chairman Rose. Only oh, we're coming. Come on, Lenny, let's crack on. I want to talk to the receptionist. Welcome. This is the front desk for Rose Tower. I also heard that um, that thing about you being intruders and all that, but quite frankly, they pay me minimum wage, and I don't earn enough to deal with this shit. So, um, on you go. I won't stop you. All these people in chat saying, for what knowledge I have, I can't play anything. Come. <laughs> Come, please. Can't play anything. Excuse me. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lie from you, mister. <laughs> Skull Toxin, you can play basic. Taking ages. I'm sure this nice man that we defeated told us the truth yet. Well, I don't think we're out the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Definitely to fight, yes. You two are gym challenges, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in Gala League's gym challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. Skeletoxin, you've been playing Blackbird? Oh, sweet. I love that song. All right. Oh, it's an elephant. I caught two of those just before. And a bronzong. Well, we're going to absolutely murder the bronzong. I see dub wool, and I can't help but think of, like, a dubstep sheep. I, I can't help it. It's just the name. Tom says, I've been playing for more than a decade and I reverted to playing chords only and humming in the mic. Well, streaming takes more of your brain than anyone realizes until they start streaming. Like, it, it's a massive split of attention. I think if you literally just had no chat open and you knew exactly what you wanted to practice and you just did that on stream, you could play really complicated things. But um, if you're interacting with the chat, it changes how you do shit. Uh, I don't really want to be dug into, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Corviknight. Speaking of blackbirds, singing in the dead of the night. Hello, Infinity. How you doing? Celestian, you're getting a purple sparkle guitar in the shop? Oh, that sounds so cool. My bass guitar in high school was purple. Uh, we're going to use, like, Power Trip, but, I mean, just for fun. Can you imagine just being body slammed by a sheep? You're at a conference in Melbourne. How's the weather? It's pretty fucking hot in Canberra. And uh, we've got bushfire smoke from um, the bushfire in the Talaganda National Park that's uh, threatening Braidwood, which is nice. Shiny says the new Skarmory looks cool, right? All right, well, we fucked these guys up. 
we've created an extraordinary lift to see if even for a Pokemon battle. She's very proud of it. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction when it comes to our dedication to our work. Oh, that's a lot of money. Good. I can buy pants with that. In real life, guys, I like never spend money on clothes because I'm like, oh, well, I could, you know, I could do this or I could do that with it. I just never, I never, I, I'm very bad at being fashionable in real life. I used to hate clothes shopping and so I never really developed the, um, like the fashion sense or anything like that. I just like wearing black and bold popping colors. Go for you've been kidnapped by conferences. Gone forever. Oh no. Uh, I don't know which one of them is speaking, but if I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. R really? Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed of light. Constructed of light. Lightsaber walls. You could thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from outside at any time? They're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Man, can you imagine in first gen? Like, you would never have been given a heal here. This would have been a gauntlet. And fuck you if you got to the end of the gauntlet and you couldn't, um, like, all your Pokemon were dead. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Hang on. No, that's wrong. Um, I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? I'd like to take this moment to apologize to anybody who has any uh, emotional connection to the accents of the British Isles. Um, and I will apologize again if any new people turn up. Valestian says, you get to the end, everything's dead. You don't heal because there is nothing in the room to suggest you need to. And then Gary turns up three steps away from the healing. Yes, that's, yes, correct. Also, like, you're poisoned and, like, every step you take, your Pokemon is one inch closer to death. Don't forget that part. So, um, it's that time of year again, guys. Steam is having a sale. So, uh, if there are things you want to recommend to me, this is your optimum time to make those recommendations. But I would also love to talk to you about things that you yourself have purchased. God, rip. I feel bad. Like, ugh. Hello, Clueless. I didn't know you were here. Hope you're having a good one, Fez. Is Fez like a, um, a puzzle game? I seem to think it is. Look, Hop, if you're going to do your shitty, poor, um, fucking strategy, bad type matchup bullshit on your own time, go ahead. But I'm trying to win a fight here. Go for you, purchase some VR games to go with your new VR stuff. And yeah, I had heard, um, Com said they might buy a GPU. I had heard you're going to want to wait till next year because um, the new gen stuff's coming out. So um, you want to wait. I might have just called um, Hop Com. My brain is not very good, as we've previously um, ascertained. I, if I could have named the rivals and shit in this game, I probably would have named it people from the stream. But then, like, everyone would be offended if I named Hop after them because he's kind of, like, not great at the whole strategy business. <laughs> Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building is well over 500 feet tall. 
That's as tall as around 100 Machokes standing on top of each other. Why do you care? Also, Machoke 5 feet tall confirmed. Clueless is shaking their head. What fresh hell is this? Is Pokemon, my dude. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. What? What? Why, why would it? Like, insurance against losses? That would be bizarre. Alright, more of this bullshit, hey? I'm glad I'm getting a lot of money here, though. That's good. I enjoy money. I like money. You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work the skies, high in the skies, doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. What sort of fucking spelling for Adeline is that? That's right, Clueless, it's Pokemon. I like the new stun fisks, they're cool. Com, I'm curious why you don't want a NVIDIA, um, NVIDIA, sorry, NVIDIA GPU. Aren't most games, like, developed on NVIDIA? That's kind of why I always prefer to have them. Just because I figure they'll be less likely to have glitches. I don't know how, like, accurate that is. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I was, um, um, good at computer. I should have, oh, I still get another chance because it's a double battle. I was about to say I should have used the special attack rather than the physical, but, um, got a chance to save it. Bloat drivers make you sad. Okay. I'll take your word for that. I don't know enough about drivers. Have I told you guys that I've been watching YouTube videos about, like, the hardware architecture of the Super Nintendo? Fuck, it's fascinating. Jesus Christ. It's so interesting. God, I love, like, I don't know if that's, like, firmware-level programming or, or what you would call it. I mean, it's hardware programming, but is that not firmware? I don't know. I've said it a lot. Well, I fucking love them. I still haven't finished the whole series, and I've got to say, like, I only understand, like, maybe 20% of, um... 20% of what's in the, the videos, but they're good. I like it. Am I, I for real, I tell it every stream. Yeah, I don't have a, I told you, I remember almost zero of what happens on stream. I couldn't even remember if I beat Hop and Marnie on stream or off stream. My, I cannot tell when things happen anymore. <laughs> Nobody can beat Macro Cosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is blowing up? Blowing up? That's right. This lift was pretty fucking ugly in high school, but it had a major glow up. You learned assembly, gopher, as part of your computer science major. Well, I know I've said this on stream before, but when I was in high school and like for my entire life before that, I actually wanted to study computer science. Um, but I had some shitty times with math in high school and um, decided that I couldn't do it and therefore I didn't which uh, it's not exactly a regret um, but you know maybe I'd be in a different place now if I had a bit more support who knows don't you presume to meet the chairman you're not on the same level as such a great man you must know that in high rises such as this one the higher up you go the more important the people you find working there chairman Rose is at the top of the tower not just of this tower but of all of Galar Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this.
Oh, it's Oliana. Skeltoxin says, I don't know what shipping looks like from Australia to the US, even for a light parcel. For a parcel under two kilograms, it'll be about $20 to the US. Clueless says, it's never too late. That is true, but um, tech is kind of a young person's game. Like, it's hard to get jobs if you didn't start in the industry when you were younger. But as a hobby thing, I'd consider it. Gopher says, by the way, if anyone wants to learn how Logic Gates build up a computer's CPU and memory, NAND to Tetris is an amazing program that lets you build up an entire computer from just individual Logic Gates. That is really cool. One of these days, I'll actually teach myself some stuff about computer science. But um, right now, we're playing Pokemon, and I just realized I didn't turn the light on, so I'm going to be back in two seconds. Sitting back down. All right. I'm here. Did you hear my song? All right. Let's go. Linny, stay on guard. Oh, I will. Just let me ride my bike over here. Oh, fuck. I'm not allowed to ride my bike. Shit. Oh, I wanted to go find items. Fuck. Oh, I have to stretch. Jesus. All right, I'll stretch and then we can um, then we can read Oliana's dialogue. Clueless, you studied German language and literature and then decided to drop out after three years. I didn't drop out, but um, I studied. I mean, I have a master's in linguistics, and then I was like, yeah, I don't think this is where I want to be working. So um, I didn't drop out. I finished my degrees, but I'm not doing that work now. Infinity, you enjoyed the song. Hooray. Welcome to Cham and Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all of that special stuff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... Oh, Jesus, she's fucking angry. I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose! You shall be first, Linny! If I beat you to pieces, then the Champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Skeletox, did you want her to destroy you? I feel like now she's angry, you'd want that even more, right? Alright, let's, uh... I don't know which is going to be higher, but I'm going to go with the physical attack first. Oh boy. I thought maybe Oleana's fight would be a little bit harder, but, um... Wow. My, how cheeky. I didn't read the rest of that because I was half reading the chat, but I feel like that is enough to get everyone the um, the feeling of the the message, right? Milotic. All right. Um, now, shit. Did Milotic have a part dragon? No, I think it's all water, right? So we're going to go with Bolt. Boltoned. Ziggy. To do something is to hurt my partner. Thank you, Spell Foxen. Oh, that's right. Fucking stupid moves. All right. Oh, well, that was something I didn't really need to worry about as much as I did, was it? Can you imagine thinking that you're going to defeat this child and then this child just walks up and absolutely wipes the fucking floor with your team?
Salazzle, eh? Uh, yes, we will switch Pokemon. We will switch Pokemon to Mudsdale. No, not Ringo. Mudsdale. John. Hello, Asheron. I hope you ate something good. What did you miss? You missed, like, um, us fighting some trainers in a, um, elevator. And me forgetting, um, what I had and hadn't said on stream. Nice attack, bro. You had chicken with potato and zucchini fritters? That sounds amazing. Oh boy, everyone's like level 60. <laughs> Fuck. Sarina. I don't know this Pokemon. Um, so we're going to keep current Pokemon and I'll switch if I need to. Oh yeah, I definitely need to switch. That's that's a bad matchup. We're going to switch to uh, Corviknight. This is kind of a bop. Oh man, oh, that's brutal. All right, drill pack. Rip! Garbador, yeah, we will switch Pokemon. Who will we switch to, though? I think we'll go with Mudsdale. Because Genevieve is a psychic type, but she's also a fairy type, and fairies weak to poison. So we're going to go with... Um... Oh, man, she's fucking angry. This is my last Pokemon. Seriously, Oleana's got to finish this. I like that she has all these, like, beautiful lady Pokemon, and then... Trash pile Pokemon. Should I Dynamax? Nah, we'll just use Earthquake. It'll be more crushing to her if um, there's no Dynamax involved. I think I'll treat you something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax at Rose Tower. Oh my god, it's got like a fucking boat in it. There's a boat, there's a plane, there's a fucking house. There's like a big polka doll, like a statue. I don't even know what the fuck is going on here. Ho ho ho, boy! It was Dynamax, Gigantamax, and I still killed it in one hit. Non-Dynamaxed. Oh boy. Overleveled. Massively overleveled. <sighs> I wasn't able to win. Liana, you really are a hopeless woman. Lady, please. Have a bit more confidence in yourself. Ah, oh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. Typical, Linny. You and your Arcanine are unstoppable. Is the building about to fucking explode or something? Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Lady, do not do shit for men. Do it for you. I don't remember what voice I gave to this man. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and yet you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this, this madness is to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants and what I want. 
is what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Is this like a pre-baked image? It is. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gala region stretched out before us. Leon. Oh my god, his name is even Leon. Lion. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. <laughs> and know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted. A millennium from now, the people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What? Hang on, hang on, who is, who is, I can't remember who's speaking. This is Leon, right? The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. No, he's speaking now. I, I don't know. Who knows? I need to pay more attention, but I'm not going to. So you just get variable voices. Enjoy. The future is more important than just one day. We must act quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years. Fine. I don't know. That's, that's still Leon. Fine. Look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give my word that I'll help with your plans just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. See you, Clueless. Have a good one. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie are always Team Yellow Balls. They all helped us out to get you. I must apologise to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Is he, like, throwing shade on Leon here or being... What's the word? Um, Fuck. I can't remember the word for when you, like, say you've done the wrong thing. I think it starts with an R. Remorseful. Uh, no, that's not quite right, but you, you understand what I'm trying to say, probably. Never mind any of this, Hoplinny. Hoplinny? Yeah, all right. Let's head back to the hotel. We'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. Man, I look a bit insane like that, don't I? If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose. And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It sure will be one for the history books. That was a lot of build-up to absolutely fucking nothing happening. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know. I am going to change the course of history. The next evening. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had battle free in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Linny, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Intellion, I'll be happy to give you one. No, no, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us here are for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we can trust her then, Le yeah, Lenny. Let's go. I can't wait another minute. Hello, Reagent. How you doing? Would you like me to show you the way to Windsor Stadium? No, I'm good. I'll make my way there. Thank you. Understood. Come talk with me again if you need any help, or use one of the flying taxis out front. All right, are people gonna like give me special flavor text for being about to win? No, I've already, I've already spoken to them about that. All right, let's go. Celestian says, fantastic five-star hotel. I bet Hop still orders fish and chips. Don't you badmouth fish and chips. Fish and chips is good shit. Love fish and chips. All right. You're good? I'm glad to hear it. I'm okay too. It's Friday, so I'm tired. 
Go for you like vinegar with your fish and chips. Yeah, I like that. I like some uh, tartare sauce as well. I enjoy. Where I live, we're like three hours inland. So like the quality of the fish isn't so great. Um, but the only reason I can say that as such a snob is because um, when I was younger, you know, I lived closer to the coast. So like, it's, it's just better. <laughs> I'm just gonna ride my bike into the side of this building real quick. Don't worry about it. Infinity says gravy and chips is also solid. I think you meant to write option there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, chips and gravy, holy shit. Oh man, don't make me want chips and gravy. How dare you? <laughs> Fuck. All right. Nitty. This is it, here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all Galar. You're going to show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So get yourself checked in. All right. Secret Reagent says, what is gravy in American English? Well, we don't have an equivalent of, like, how your... Like, I know your gravy is different, but yeah. Com, you're going to sleep? Okay. I hope you get, like... 12 hours of sleep or something. Oh man, this music. You know, I've already heard this music. But it sounds kind of even more techno in headphones. Yeah, I know why. It's because it's, um, yeah, it has massive stereo, which I don't hear when I'm playing it handheld. So if you're not listening using headphones, there is quite a lot of movement between left and right headphones. It's calmed down a bit now, but when I first came in, it jumped quite strongly between ears. Makes me like wanna bounce in the seat with the music, which is why I think it feels more techno-y. All right. Um, you know, I'm gonna start with George. I'm not above save scumming if um, I fuck it up. We'll see. Poker rave, that's right. Challenge Lee, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semi-finals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals and they won't be holding back. Oh, I have to fight all the gym leaders now? Jesus Christ, I'm glad I started an hour early. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So are you ready to go to the locker room now? Yep, go ahead. I'll show you the way. All right, I wonder if I get to know first, like in advance who I'll be fighting. Nope, no bracket. I can't go for the vending machines. Long time no see. This will be a different sort of battle than you face in the gym challenge. Those are basically test matches, but this, this is a serious battle. I say, I'd say I aim to win this thing and I'll do it without using Dynamax to help everyone in Spikemouth reclaim their pride and to seem small once again. I'm gonna win my way through every Hang on, no, I was more like gum. I'm gonna win my way through every round and I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I'll have failed to repay Duraladon Dur for the rest of my team for all their hard work. I'll always press on and challenge myself so that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. My first, ma first match is against Raihan of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing in the towel so easily. I have to give him a tiny voice because he's a tiny man in a big body. I won't be putting on a showy battle for the crowd. I'll show everyone what a severe battle truly is. My mask, it feels like it's gonna fall off. All right. I don't know who I get to fight first. I would really like to know that. Huh? 
Oh, uh, it's just the opening ceremony? Okay. I wonder if I should change my, like, hairstyle and shit to better suit this outfit. Nah, fuck it. Yeah, I don't remember how to do, like, calculus anymore either. It's been too long. Ten years. Jesus Christ. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar. I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope that no one minds me stepping in in order to lead you all to greater heights as Pokemon trainers of the Galar region. The time has come for you to battle it out until only the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the finals matches begin. Wait, you? Oh shit, it's Bead! Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Bead, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bead, he's a challenger endorsed by the Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with the challenger Lily here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle her. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. Uh, I don't know how English commentators sound, so I'll think about that while I take my healthy drink of water, shall I? What an unexpected turn of events. Former Challenger Bead has come for one last battle. We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Bead. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I've never heard an English soccer commentator. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since we showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Oleana who asked me to get the wishing stars for the chairman. Then the chairman himself disowned me. And then this strange old lady comes up out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy-type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy-type Pokemon every day. Here I am, pouring my heart out to you, when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Bede's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to grow stronger? Or is it a trial for Challenger Lily? My will hasn't been broken yet. Um, all right, well, we'll see how we go. Dude, being a fairy type gym leader suits him so well, though. Look at him. You know who he reminds me of? We talked about Premier in the last stream. He reminds me a little bit of, um, of Leo Fotia from um, Premier. We face too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. Uh, well, I have very bad news for you about your first matchup with me. Well, I mean, it's good news for me, but... Oh, no, he's a little bit stronger. He's a little bit stronger. It's not gonna help him very much, but he's a little bit stronger. <laughs> I hope, I hope you didn't spend a lot of money on that full restore. Uh, Gardevoir, we will switch Pokemon, yes. And we will switch to... Who's a good choice? Steel against Fairy, right? Yeah.
crouch. Did God pull a dab out of the Pokeball? I wasn't paying attention. I'll have to check the next time someone uses one against me. Rapidash. Uh, now, Rapidash is a Psychic type. So we're going to switch to... What have we got here? Uh, we might switch back to George. I've been caught out a couple of times fighting Bead because I've forgotten that um, that the Galarian Rapidash is psychic rather than um, fire. Oh fuck, they're beautiful. Oh, maybe they are part fairy. That would make sense if he's using it. That's all right. We're fine. So it's a bit like Gardevoir then, the Ponyta is psychic only, but uh, when it evolves into the Rapidash, it's uh, fairy types as well. Hatterene, um, we will not switch. What's the calm expression? Think you're going to win? Is this the Pokemon that will fuck you up if you have emotions? I bet a Dynamax. Um, Oh, it's probably a bad Pokemon to do it with. Hang on. Um, fuck. I forgot that I'd probably have to be um, Dynamaxing. Um, I'll switch in, Paul. Why not? will show you a truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatreen to Dynamax. Gigantamax, rather, shit. Fuck. That looks a bit eldritch to me, I'm not gonna lie. Battlefield got weird. God, I love that. Uh, so we're going to Dynamax and we are going to use Max Steel Spike. Gopher says, and I agree with this, Gen 1 has so much dumb stuff that people ignore because it's Gen 1. That is so true. Like, Gen 1 and 2 get a lot of passes because they have the original weirdness. Oh boy, oh dear, yeah, okay, it lived, it lived, you've got to give it that credit. Oh shit, it has a fire type move. Well, good on you, but not good on you enough. Gopher points out that the fire definitely hit the trainers. 100% agree. Everyone is dead here now. Gopher says, is it canon that people don't die from Pokemon moves? Gopher, have you never seen the first Pokemon movie? Ash dies from Mewtwo's Pokemon move. And gets brought back to life by love or some shit. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. Well done. Um, what was her name? Olive? I can't remember the name of the, the older fairy gym leader, but she has she's converted him to fairy type Pokemon.
Well, I lost. It looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Challenger Linny and her trust. Oh, wait, no, shit, that's the commentator. It looks like Challenger Bead was no match for Challenger Linny and her trusted team. Hey, Bead, that was some match. Don't retire, just restart your career. But, but this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would have been fine. And if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy-type gym leader. Though I suppose with my talents, I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. That was it, Opal. The stadium is filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Linny, please head back to the locker room so that you can rest up from that unexpected match. Gopher says Ice-type Pokemon are the coolest. Gopher, you're the coolest. No, you're breathtaking. Rather surprising for Challenger B to budge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. My Pokemon healed up. I didn't mean to sit down. Fuck you. Yes, good. It's important to me that um, George is first because um, the amulet coin. Oh, I've got a stretch. Okay. You guys stretch too. Stretch out your arms. Especially if you've been doing any hand work. And your shoulders. I'm stretching out my side as well. Reagent, you like Chutel? Yeah, he's a cutie. Um, well, I mean, I guess if I'm going to fight all the gym leaders in a row, it will definitely be Milo first, but we'll see. Asher, and you're doing embroidery. Yeah, you need to stretch. You need to stretch or you're going to have massive pain in your arms, please. Skeletoxin, yes. Please tell us about your Thanksgiving dinner. You talked it up real high. So now I want to hear all the details. The time for waiting is over. The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers face each other in the first battle of the first round are a trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Linny. Her opponent is, oh shit, the water type, fuck off. The master of water types, Nessa. I hope I get to hear that banging gym music. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion, who's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. All right, well, do your best. I love that I have my Fire-type Pokémon out first. Galisapod. Oh, well, it's Bug-typed. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Um, so we are going to switch to Ziggy straight up. I'm also going to make the chat hungry by reading um, Skeletoxin's foods out, out loud. But just going to make sure I'm not going to die first. Uh, not great, but... Shrimp, which in Australia we call prawns. Smoked salmon, mussels. And stone rab claws. I'm not sure what that is, but I assume some kind of shellfish. Barrascuda, by the way. I feel like this Pokemon could be in Pokemon Yeah and Pokemon Nah. Rip! Oh god, Ziggy's 62. Bad physical defense. I should probably pay attention to that. Electric terrain. I don't think I want this, but I'll have a quick look. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. 
Yeah, I love smoked salmon too, Gopher. Oh man, it's good stuff. I should get some of that. Also smoked herring. Smoked herring is also good. I'll stone crab, okay. Uh, switch Pokemon? No, I don't think I will. Let's see. This ought to do the trick. Yep! switch out Pokemon, thank you. Gopher says the last time I had alcohol was when my apple juice went bad. I'm not sure that's how that works, uh, Gopher. I'm, I'm not sure that's entirely how that works. Once again, Nessa, I hope you didn't spend too much money on that full restore. I hope you just like found it lying on the ground because it is about to be completely nullified. Gopher is ruining everybody's fun by saying alcohol is just micro poop and pee. Thank you, Gopher. Sure, I'm glad I'm also not really an alcohol person right now. But then again, I do like kombucha, which is basically mold water, so... I've got no leg to stand on in this argument. No, we won't be switching Pokemon. Valestian says that because I like kombucha, they're going to send me the gunk scraped off of fretboards. That is, that sounds delightful. You could probably, you could probably market that. I'm not going to lie. It could be like guitar kombucha. I've told this story before. I don't know if I've told it on stream I am going to switch Pokemon and it's going to be to Ringo. Um, but um, when I first heard about Kombucha I was like, what the hell? Because Kombu in Japan looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Uh, kombu in, in Japanese is seaweed and you can get Kombucha which is like um, tea made with seaweed in it right? So I was like, oh, it's seaweed tea. That's a weird thing to get popular here, but whatever. Um, but then I learned, no, it's actually mold tea. And I was like, what the fuck? All right, better Dynamax and then use Max Overgrowth. Yeah, go for I love seaweed too. I like it dried into snacks. I like it in soup. How else do I like seaweed? I like it wrapped around uh, rice. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Gigantamax. That's right, this is Tootle's final form. I have one of these. Right, see, dried seaweed sprinkled on top of um, yakisoba and okonomiyaki. You like seaweed broth too, Gopher? Yep, seaweed broth is good. Oh boy, yep, that's that uh, brutal. Go home, Gamma. Yeah, <laughs> guys, you know I have never once seen a Godzilla movie. Never seen a Godzilla movie. I feel like I would definitely enjoy them as well. She's so angry, but I'm just like, yeah. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. 
look at all this money. I'm going to spend it on leather pants. And the winner is Linny. She defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and has now pulled it off again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even without, even with my Dynamax partner, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now I think about it, Sonia was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everyone in Galar's got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Who am I fighting? Alistair. Okay. Okay, that's easy. Yep, good. Uh, we can actually keep uh, George out front for Alistair because um, he knows a dark type move, so that's good. Um, Gopher says, what does Shin mean? New. New. Go for it. I thought you could read kanji a little bit. Shin is not kanji. Shin damn well is kanji. What the da, da. Excuse me. I'm going to have to take a moment from the stream here to prove to people that Shin is in fact kanji. This, well, it's a terrible font. That, 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 this, this kanji. Look, shin bag. Shin Pokemon. <laughs> Shin Pokedex. <laughs> Shin Mystery Gift. New bag, new Pokemon, new Pokedex. Yes. You're not getting me? What? What's the problem? The fact that it was also... I'm so confused. You can read the character, yes. So what was the problem? If you write in English letters, why would you know? Why would I know what it means? Because, yeah, that's probably fair. You know, if you've learned Japanese, it would be like it's hard to describe, but you just put like shin in front of anything in Japanese, and it basically means new. I don't, I don't know. It's just a thing. It's like having like un, like undo or un um, tie or something. It's like that un. So if you hear shin, it's very unlikely. If you hear shin and then a word, it's almost always going to mean new in Japanese. So yeah, that's me. That's my bad. Oh, that's really annoying. I have to like now this is like, like it's got a red box on the screen in OBS. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I've like enraged go for now <laughs> for like bringing their linguistic capabilities into disrepute. Hang on, I just saw that um, that Skeletoxin put more food in the chat that I need to write, read out to make you all hungry. You got tortellini with roasted butternut squash, mashed potato gratin, spinach and eggplant cannelloni, and green beans with hazelnuts. Well, I'm allergic to hazelnuts, but all of that sounds amazing. Are you vegetarian, Skeletoxin? It sounds different in Japanese than Chinese. That's that's correct. Um, I don't know exactly what the difference is in is, but I can generally only understand what's being said um, in Mandarin if I can both see the kanji and um, like can see it being and sort of understand all the Japanese as well. So yeah. Oh no, there, there's there's the meat from Scale Toxin. Um, sorry, I need to cough. Fuck, I'm speaking too much and not drinking enough. Black Angus prime rib roast. Cornbread, oyster stuffing, cranberry sauce, and pear and fennel salad. That sounds amazing. 
and then tons of desserts and an Irish coffee. Damn. And lobster corn chowder. Wow, Jesus. I get what you say when you were saying you reckoned you'd had uh, 3,000 calories now. Infinity, you started learning Japanese for fun. Sweet. Well, it's the more Nihongo and it's just like a it's the more Nihongo than what chats that I eat them. I'm going to be a female commentator now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals. Of the four remaining challenges, which two will be left for the last match? If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we witnessed quite the surprise during the finals here at this year's Champion Cup as the former gym challenger Bede stormed the stage, but Linny was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. And now to take her on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide as the silent school-aged star. Malister, you look well. I remember you. You were the strongest gym challenger I had. So I reckon we sh should battle. I think I gave him a different voice. No later than about 30 minutes ago, but whatever. Go for you saw a recipe for roasted stuffed tomatoes and you attempted to make some. I think you should. Otherwise, you'll just eat raw tomatoes again. Oh, a dusk tomato. This is like your one plan flat family splurge skeletoxin. Sounds like it's worth it. Everyone's looking. I want to hide, but I'll fight. All right, time to crunch. Why does food have to be expensive? <sighs> well, that's actually kind of a complicated question that I have no uh, desire to go into right now. But lots of reasons, and sometimes it doesn't have to be, but it is for bullshit reasons. If you had milk tea for lunch, please eat food, Gopher. Gopher, you're in Singapore at the moment, right? What level? I was, like, astounded when I went to Singapore and I found out you can, like, order milk tea by the percentage of sugar you want in it. So now I want to know what percentage of sugar you got in your milk tea. Cursula. God, I love Cursula. Um, we will switch Pokemon and we're going to switch to Ringo. You got 70%? Jesus! Why didn't you just drink Coke? Yeah, I get about 10% 10, 10 I think when I get um, Singaporean milk tea. Okay, so it's effective but not super effective. During a, you know, like the elite, essentially the elite four is probably not the best time to be working out like effectiveness of moves, but whatever. Oh, okay. Well, it was, oh, it was a critical hit. Oh, well, that was just, um, okay. Rip! Astrin says here most places to 0, 30, 50, 70, and 100. I'd probably do 0 most of the time then. And um, maybe 30 if I really felt like something sweet. That's right, Valencia, and you were feeling bad for Kursla, and you can continue to feel bad for Kursla, because today is most definitely not its day. Uh, Chandelure. I want to swing from the Chandelure. From the Chandelure. Uh, it's fire, so we're going to go ahead and switch to... Mudsdale. Oh shit, I wonder if it has Levitate. Fuck. Well, we'll find out. That's right, Ashrin. I like um, I like pearls, tapioca pearls in um, my milk tea, and that's plenty of sweetness in that. I actually can't drink Thai milk tea because uh, it is too sweet for me from the sweetened condensed milk. But we'll find out. Let's see. Have you got levitate, my buddy? Fuck your will of the wisp attack. Oh no! Nope! 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 It's fucked. Oh, damn, I should have used some um, earthquake. Oh well. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it! Now I definitely should have used Earthquake. Should have anticipated that. Especially since when you have a burn, your attack stat is lowered. Fuck. Well, apparently not. Did they change that in this gen? But the chewiness of the tapioca pearls is the point. Love that shit. Oh, come on, Genevieve, you can level up. You can do it, you can do it. Astron, you can make your own bubble tea? How, like, do you buy the tapioca from somewhere? How do you do that? Poltergeist. I don't remember what a poltergeist is, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to George and just assume that everything will be fine. You can buy the tapioca pearls from Asian grocery shops. Okay. Oh, it's the tea Pokemon. Pol tea geist. Oh, I should have looked closer. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use Crunch. Hello, unknown. You read that as tapioca penis. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure. If you worked hard enough, you could use tapioca flour to make novelty tapioca penises that you could put in bubble tea for for um, for shits and giggles. You're on it, good man. Gengar, will you switch your Pokemon? No. I don't think I shall. My very last Pokemon. How lonely, how frightening. Personally, I just love that, um, I just love that you can, you've got the, um, what do you call it? You, you know, you can send someone a bag of dicks and it's just a bag of gummy dicks. I like that. Infinity says tapioca pudding was actually a pretty popular dessert when my parents were like, young. Yeah, I have seen some um, some old Australian recipe books with um, recipes for tapioca pudding in it. Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Oh god. That's right, it's Vol Gengar, everyone's favorite Gengar. <laughs> Don't say that. Sorry, I already said it. And it's gone now, so you don't have to worry about it. You know, the fact that I played this on my own for two days, just like um, over leveling my Pokemon by catching shit, um, is probably making this a much less um, stressful time on stream for me. Is the Gengar meant to be a fun house or something? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Woo! Maybe my mask kept me from seeing just how strong you really are. He literally said, swallow everything in your path. Good Lord. <laughs> Gopher says, now I can't go into a fun house without thinking about being Vord. Thanks. Well, Gopher, Gopher, Luna Park, Gopher, Luna Park. You're on the West Coast. Do you even know Luna Park? Holy shit. Do you know Luna Park? Guys, I have to show you Luna Park. Holy shit. I have to show you Luna Park. Hang on. I'll get back to the, um, I'll get back to the, um, the the change room or whatever it is and then i will tell you guys about luna park oh my god challenger Linny has done it again what a performance she sails right through crumbs that was ace give you your best out there i'm mad about strong trainers our seemingly unstoppable challenger is headed for the final round but who will she meet there Will it be I pass on Dynamaxing Piers or the Dragon Lord himself, Raihan? 
the next match will decide it, so don't go far from your screens. It's Raihan, okay. Oh, I kind of wanted to fight Piers. Love Piers. I actually wanted to fight the, like, um, the hot fire, the hot older guy, Kabu, but whatever. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Bless you! Just remember, Luna Park backwards is anal crap. <laughs> oh, God! How, I, how has that never come up before? How have I never heard that before? How? Oh, God. All right, hang on. We're going to deal with Marnie for a second here. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Linny. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Raiham. He looks so sloppy out there because people are gonna that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle though. I'm counting on you win, Nenny. Got that. I'll be cheering for you. Sorry, coming for a chinwag just before the final match. Ryan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a right good battle. Alrighty, now, Luna Park. Give me a second and I'll uh, I'll give you some new nightmares. Now, first thing you have to know is there's two, two Luna Parks. There's one in Sydney and there's one in Melbourne and one is significantly more horrifying than the other one. So, let's find a good picture. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've got to we've got to do a nighttime and a daytime picture, and we've got to show it so that you can see people walking through the mouth. So I think we'll start with this picture. And it's from Wikipedia, which is even better. Uh, yep, good save. And uh, let's see if we can find, do they have a color daytime photo? Here we go, excellent. So, Luna Park. What's this image? Oh, it's Pokemon Nier and Pokemon Nah. Right. Well, let's get rid of that nice image and put something much more horrifying on your screen, shall we? This is Luna Park. <laughs> Good cropping. <laughs> so there we go. I know Infinity, like how on earth? We even went on school trips to Luna Park and no one noticed that it was anal crap backwards. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. So there you go. That's, uh, that's, um, that's Sydney's Luna Park. And uh, I have a picture of it at night because it lights up. Let me get that for you. That's actually too big, hang on. There we go. There it is lit up. The teeth light up, you'll uh, you'll notice. When the teeth light up. Good stuff. Uh, Gopher asks, how old is it? I walked past it once, but didn't go in. Let me, I'm on the Wikipedia page, so this should be very easy for me to work out. Um, let's see. Oh, hang on, it, it actually has a, um, a thing about the th the face, I think. Hang on a second. Here we are. The entrance face and towers. The first entrance to Luna Park was constructed in 1935, based on the design of the entrance to Melbourne's Luna Park at St Kilda. So we've we've gone to the copycat first. I didn't know this. This is new for me. 
It consisted of two towers with an immense face between them and people entered through the gaping mouth. I would like to add, Wikipedia has the description gaping mouth. The face has been remodeled several times and its character has evolved over the years. Exposed to salt air, the entrance face has required major maintenance work. Its face was decaying due to the fact that it was on the bay, guys. Each time this has been carried out, the facial expression has altered. The whole entrance was demolished in 1988. The present entrance face and towers was completed in January 1995. The 36 meter high towers are replicas of the original 1935 Art Deco design. The expression on the present face is based on the 1960 face designed by Arthur Barton. The towers are constructed of steel frames clad in fiber cement sheets on brick bases. The face is made of fiberglass and foam. All right, um, so let me look up the Melbourne one. Where are we? It's heritage listed, by the way, which means Australians think, or the Australian government thinks it's so important that it should be preserved. Uh, I want to see a link to Melbourne's Luna Park. Where are we? Um, oh shit, it's based on a Luna Park in Coney Island. Well, I'll be your damn. Um, hang on, what if I just go to... There's, a, there's actually a disambiguation page on Wikipedia for parks named Luna Park. Uh, let's see. In Asia, in Africa, in Europe, North America, Oceania. There we are. Luna Park, Melbourne. That's the one. Oh, God, it's even worse. Oh, my God, it's so much worse. It is so much worse, guys. It is so much worse. My God, is it so much worse. I'm just going to save this and uh, show it to you. Give me just a second here. All right, brace yourselves for Luna Park, Melbourne. Unknown says, if I don't cry, I want a refund. Are you crying? Are you crying now? Did you get your money's worth? <laughs> Bless you, says, fire all weapons. <laughs> a single TFL. Okay, good. This is 2014, by the way. This is what it looked like in 2014. It looked different in my childhood. They remodeled it. Wow. What, what a stream, what a stream. What were they thinking? I don't know, but I want to see if the Wikipedia page says anything about it. Uh, let's see, let's see. This one, uh, Luna Park, Melbourne, is a historic amusement park located on the foreshore of Port Phillip Bay in St Kilda, Melbourne, Victoria. It opened on 13 December 1912, with a formal opening a week later and has been operating almost continuously ever since. Let's see about the face. It doesn't say anything about the face. Uh, like it doesn't have a subheading, but I am gonna do a control F for face because here we are. Let's see. The main historic features of the park to remain uh, include the iconic Mr. Moon face entry and flanking towers restored 1999. So in my childhood, uh, it looked different. Cool. And there's the scenic railway. I think, did Infinity ask something about the railway? Or Asher? I know it was, there was an Australian that said something about a, a railway here. Uh, and yes, it's the oldest continuously operating roller coaster in the world. Holy shit, I thought that was going to end within Australia, but no, in the world, apparently. Wow. Are there any other face? Yeah, there's a few other um, uses of face. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The face was rebuilt as a new fiberglass version, plus placed over the remnants of the original plaster one. Okay. Anything else? 
this is also on the heritage list, just so you know. Uh, it's considered extremely important to Australia's cultural history. And uh, I think that's, that's basically it. Yep. 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 I now have three cursed images of faces on uh, in my streaming images folder. Uh, so that'll be that'll be nice. During the end of year retrospective, I'll definitely pull out some of the old images uh, from this year. So there we go. That was a nice diversion. Um, strange faces of Australian uh, amusement parks. I know I just saved, but it's my habit to save whenever I do shit. I'm just having a look in the chat to see if there's any other very good reactions. That's good. <laughs> wow. Uh, so we're fighting Raihan next. Uh, Genevieve should probably be out the front on account of her being fairy type. Which means we've got to swap the amulet coin around. I don't know, did you get timed out four caps? For some reason it's showing up fine on, um, on my Twitch chat. Yeah, we have a limit of like, I don't know, what is it? 30 or something? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's fight some dragons. I want to hear about this cursed image, though, of the enchanted forest in Oregon. I'm going to be the female commentator again, because I think I got her voice better. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, Challenger Linny? Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival, the tamer of dragons, Raihan? You really something else, kid. You made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you, so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Rahan you faced through the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Valestian says, if a Pokemon knows the scary face move, I imagine it just makes a Luna Park face. Checks out. All right. Let's see if he can challenge me. Oh, yeah, this is the guy that takes fucking selfies in the middle of battle. Oh, okay. He's using Torkoal first. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm just going to go ahead and try and psychic the fuck out of it and see what happens. Oh god. That's that's embarrassing. It tried so hard, but it still only hurt Jean-Vier a little bit. There's a person in the mouth. Hang on, I have to I have to see this. I'm gonna use chatty and check this link out. Where are we? There's some there's some weird places in this here, um this here list. What the fuck? It's like a witch's mouth with a and a person can stand in it. Good shit, hang on. It's a homemade fairy tale theme park located near Salem. Hang on. I know of another fairy tale theme park in Australia that I'm going to look up now. And uh, let's see. Uh, what's it called? Fairy Park Anarchy. Don't you dare want to play this video? Don't you fucking dare! Oh god, this is some good faces. I'm gonna go ahead and um, post this in the chat. You guys can check this out uh, if you would like to. It's uh, there's some quite cursed faces, so um, have fun with that. I went here as a child. 
Uh, this was quite close to where I lived when I was about 10. I loved it. It was really cool. And the day we went, it was, um, it was like cold and misty. So it kind of fit. It actually made it look like it was actually legitimately Europe. Where the fuck is... Where, where is OBS gone? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's supposed to be a Native American person. Good Lord. All right. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and use Psychic again. Turtonator. I don't know what this is, but it sounds like it's probably at least partly um, water type. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ringo. Oregon was one of the most racist northern states. Okay, I'm learning. I am learning about America. That's the exact opposite of what I thought it would be. And I have no excuse because I fought one of those already. Um, we're going to swap to John. Go to Sad because a cheap Chinese place they knew about in Chinatown is closed. Infinity, if you are in the Russell Street area, like everything is good. All right, let's just use Earthquake. Oh boy. Did you see the speed with which it died? Oh man, John's gonna be level 60 soon. Good draw. Now that is a proper dragon type, so we're gonna switch to John VF. Gudra. I like the idea of a goo dragon. Skeletoxin says to never uh, Google search Gudra, and um, I'm going to take that advice on board and not do that. But chat, if you feel like cursing yourselves, um, go right ahead. Any place on Ligon Street or Brunswick Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brunswick Street in Richmond, Ligon Street in Carlton. Here comes the rain. Feel its cold dampness seep into your body. Um, sorry, my light is too bright. All right. Flygon is uh, Dragon Ground, as I recall, so we might we might go ahead and not switch. I pressed switch, but I didn't mean to. I haven't been to Melbourne for years, I don't think. I don't think I've been to Melbourne, like, other than for work or to see family since I came back from Japan three years ago. Um, yeah, I'll just use Dazzling Gleam. Let the winds blow. Stream forward, Sandstorm. If it wouldn't get the uh, stream muted, I would be playing Sandstorm by Darude here. You better fucking believe it. That Sandstorm has managed to do more damage to my uh, Gardevoir than almost anything else. Uh, Drill it on. Um, we are not going to switch Pokemon. 
you do realize I'm the great Raham, right? I'm going to be the first one to beat Leon. Alrighty. Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. Did auto mod catch the name? I didn't see it online. Hang on, let me, um, this is a, a building, by the way. I'm now fighting a building. Um, let me check Chatty. Chatty usually shows me shit that got deleted. Sorry, it wouldn't even let you send it, right? I didn't see it. Fucking giant guard of war here. Look how pretty she. I wonder if I should heal. Probably. A dipshit if it kills her, but I'm not going to. Max Starfall. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh well. Dipshit me! It's alright. We'll fuck it up with, um, with George. I'm so sorry, Jean-Viev. Arcanine will avenge you, I promise. Holy shit. Arcanine's just like, fuck you! Right. Poor Sean VF doesn't get the experience points for that. Look at Rotom Phone's little face up in the top left corner there. He's like, oh, we lost. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'll better take a quick shot to remember it by. Look at all that money. That's going to be pants soon. Challenger Linny sees his victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. Still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming, up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 546, Challenger Linny, has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who is endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed her. Alrighty. All right, the big moment's finally here, eh? I just came to cheer you on, you know. Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? What? Right, you reckon I should cheer for Linny too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this scene together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone could beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. What? What, yo? Alright, Pokemon fully healed up. Yes, they are. I wonder if I should start with Jean-Viev. No. George has a way of just being good at everything, so we're going to start with um, George.
Unknown asks if I want to see some cursed dogs. I don't know. Why are they cursed? I don't want to see any dogs that are, like, in pain. I want a drink! Why can't I get a drink, dickhead? Rude. Shit. Wants me to catch a lombre. Man, I miss Japanese vending machines sometimes. Get all those good drinks. In Australia, we really just have like water and soda for drinks in vending machines still. They're porcelain cursed dogs. Are they gonna make me sad? that majestic hair. You wish you had hair like that. The tension there on the pitch and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? All right, Ashran, have a good night. I hope you're feeling better soon. But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. I've got to take a drink of water. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. All right, let's see if the champion can actually give me a, a challenge. Wait, hold on. I swear to fucking God, if this match gets delayed again, I'm going to... Oh, fucking hell! You bastard, Chairman Rose! Hey, look at the monitor. What's that on the big screen? I have to take a drink regardless of what's on the big screen. Hello there, Leon and Linny. Just letting you know... Leon's like, for fuck's sake. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day for the sake of Galar's future, of course. What? But I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. Dude, what the fuck? I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen. Leon's pissed. Look at that. Lee, Linny. That video stream, that was from Avalok Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm a champion. I have to go. I should have realised what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. Why have you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Linny. I've got to. I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Uh, just, tr just try. But what, what can I even do? Hold the phone. Chem was asking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark at once, ages and ages ago, right? And where did we ever hear that name? Back in Motorstoke. That statue of the hero in Motorstoke. Sonia said something about then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with sword and shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try and find them, Linny, but where to start looking? Uh, maybe in the slumbering wields? That's it, Linny. I'm sure it's got to be a slumbering wield. That illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that is supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering wield. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help.
Gopher asks, why can't these Pokemon antagonists ever do evil things in a relatable and understandable way? I think that's why people like Team Rocket and um, also um, the Gen 7 antagonists. The, I don't remember the name, but, um, you know, like the... The, what was his name? Fuck, I don't remember his name, but he was also like a criminal. They were cr Team Skull, that's right. They were both criminal types. Um, and you can sort of understand that. Guzma, yeah, that's the one. Huh, Lily and Hot. Oh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. That chairman saw to that. And to send in the entire region into a state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering wheeled? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm or something raging over Hamlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, man. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, Ninny? I'm here to search for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. Hello, Dax. How are you? Thank you for the resub. I hope you had a good turkey day yesterday. They may just be what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Here, take this. You should head to the Slumbering Weald. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. Max arrives, please. As if I would need that. Unknown, you like my voice for the mother. I base it on um, the mermaid in Dragon Quest XI. All that matters is that you do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Ready for this, Lily. I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that I bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wooloo that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? Legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. You don't know who that is? Oh, well, basically, I'm... It's not a, a voice that I've made up. It's a voice that I can, um, that I just know. Uh, this, this is going to be like a level three. Squabbit. Can you imagine being this Squabbit? And a giant... I can't believe it. It was a level three. Um, a giant fucking dog monster attacks you and you're a tiny Squabbit. It's easier to um, to do voices if you're trying to do other people's voices rather than make them up on the spot. But I don't watch a lot of movies or things, so um, I don't have a, like a wide range of voice. What, what are you? I haven't seen you before. I don't watch a lot of like TV or anything, so I don't have a wide range of voices to, to pick from. It's level three. I'm just gonna throw a quick ball and hope for the best. Or actually, why don't I use a nest ball? Danny DeVito voice? I don't know Danny DeVito's work that well. I honestly, I know him the best as the dad from Matilda. I've watched like two seasons of Always Sunny and the first season he's not in. It turns into a battery and then an electric bug. Oh, I've seen a Vicar Vault uh, in the wild area. That's the final evolution, right? What have we got? Big jaws to dig nests in the forest floor and loves to feed on sweet tree sap. Okay. Would I like to give him a nickname? What should his nickname... Oh, no, her. What should her nickname be? It's a girl. I'm not calling her Buggy. That's too easy. I'm also... Hang on, I want to see if it will accept that, because it won't... It usually won't accept swear words. Let's find out. 
Yeah. <laughs> Not allowed. Gremlin. I can try Gremlin. Now I'm shitlisted by Nintendo. Oh no. Gram. Lynn. Just do a special character, so it's not really that word. Yeah. It's Gram Lim. No, it's not. Wait. Okay. Better. In the box. Mike, Mike was able to put asshole in as a name by using a special character. Oh my god. That's that's a very Mike thing to do, isn't it? There you go, Dax. Now Gremlin is in my team. Is there any Pokemon I don't have in here? It's another Squabbit. What sort of a fucking name for a Pokemon is Squabbit? It's another squabbit. He used a bunch of curse words for special characters. Oh my god. You'd think Nintendo would have been savvy enough to have, you know, had a bit more of a um, dynamic way of working out um, if it was a swear word or not. But no, no, just just playing if you've fully, fully done it or not. Skeletox and you reckon squabbit sounds like a slur? It sounds like a swear to me. I don't know if it sounds like a slur. I better save actually. That was a new Pokemon. Unknown, huh? you have an actual squirrel in real life that fucks with you and it looks like squabbit. That's incredible. All right, well, I think this is where the fog f fucked me up last time. Oh shit, it's one of these wheezings. Yeah, so we are now past where we got to last time. Check this boy out. This is part fairy, by the way. As I will demonstrate to you uh, momentarily. But it's also part poison, so that doesn't work. I just forgot about that. Uh, we are going to use uh, Fire Fang. Unknown, how does a squirrel fuck with you? I'm, what, what does it do? Does it, like, flip you off? Does it throw acorns at you? Does it call you a whore? Like, what's... what's it doing? Oh, damn, I hoped it would, like, have one HP left. Guess we're not catching that one! Restore poison real quick. It was ripping up a tar a tarp. And it, it looked at you when you told it to stop. <laughs> Amazing. Let's try that again. I kinda like this fella, so I wanna catch one. Also, I just realized I was stupid. Dark type is ineffective against fairy. That's the whole point. Oh boy. Well, I guess it has stronger defense than special defense. And now I've just made the whole problem worse for myself by leveling George. Whoops. There's another one. And then it, it started fucking with you again the moment that you looked away from it. And only once you yelled at it again, it ran away unknown. Wow. Well, this one's level 47 at least, so let's try Fire Fang. Oh, Jesus. That was a critical hit. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, yeah. Oh, We'll try Crunch and hope that it is as ineffective as it claims to be. Good! Excellent! Perfect! Fuck you! God damn it! That was 
was so well done. I just want a towery boy. Oh, he's one. I wonder if in the Pokedex this is called the Industrial Revolution Pokemon. So unknown I got it right, he was throwing acorns at you in the end. Wow. Was that toxic? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was. Fuck. Sorry, George, you're going to have to take death here because I'm too lazy to work out another strategy. Oh, wait, no, you're not, because you're too powerful. He was like, fuck your, fuck your cruel death. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I was trying to heal poor George. Hang on, we'll switch out to um, a different Pokemon. And then after it threw acorns at you, it stole vegetables from your mother's garden. That's just... I can't help but admire that a little bit. Like, that is quite evil for a squirrel. Like, from a human perspective, but from a squirrel perspective, that's very well adapted to a human environment, a human-affected environment. I can't believe how much my team is getting fucked up by trying to catch these wheezings. Don't kill. Oh, thank God. Fuck you all for fucking fuck's sake! I just want to catch it. That's it. The next time, the next time, I'm just going to whack a, a quick ball at it. I'm just going to throw a quick ball. And I think that the quick balls are way OP in this game. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to run back and heal with our mother. And then we are going to just throw quick balls at them until one works. Oh, it's another one. A Grubbin. You know, in Costume Quest that I played, Grubbins were the, um, the enemies. They didn't look like that. Oh, fuck off. Unknown, you're also annoyed because it's thick. Like, the real one is, or the squavit? Mom, I fucked up my Pokemon team trying to catch a Weezing. Could you heal them, please? Looks like your sweet arc and I might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. The real squirrel is also thick, okay. 
What a frightful situation this has become. Still, I suppose everything will be all right as long as we've got Leon taking care of it. And you wish to help him as well, don't you? Don't worry, I'm certain you'll be of some help. Yeah, Valestian, I won't pull you up on it this time. But um, in general, I would ask that you refrain from posting any kind of personal information in the chat. In fact, I'm going to delete the message. But um, I mean, like, we all fuck up once, and tw once or twice, right? Skeletoxin, if you don't have that um, yet, then... Um, uh, you got it? All right. How do I ban? Not ban. I don't want to ban. I just want to get rid of one message. Oh, there it is. Wait, no, is that going to delete the message or the... I think that's going to just delete the message. If I click that one, and then I go... I just want to delete this one message. Jesus Christ, I have no idea how to fucking... Thank you, Gopher! I don't know how to run my own chat, but luckily Gopher is very good at it. What was that Pokemon? Oh, it's another blip bug. <laughs> no, it's all right, Velestian. I really should know how to do that myself, but um, Gopher, Gopher prevents me from learning things by just being good at being a mod. <laughs> oh, it's a mana! Hello, mana! I wonder what level that mana is. If it has a trash icon, it deletes a single one. Okay, okay. Yeah, I could have just banned Velestian for like five seconds, so that would have deleted all messages, but yeah. That's right, streamer doesn't know how to moderate. More at three. Well, usually I have like cute little chats like this, right? Ten people. It's still level 46. I have a Mashana that I caught in um, in Dynamax in a wild Dynamax raid that is lower level than that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I really want to go through the plot, so I am going to catch these off stream and tell you about it later. What was, is there a lady singing? Mental herb. Mental. Unknown, I have neither seen nor have I any desire to see anything called the Hydra Penis Copy Pasta. Someone came in and posted that a while ago, seriously. And I didn't notice that. How on earth did I not see that? I was busy with the game. <laughs> I can't believe I missed something called the Hydra Penis Copy Pasta. I'm gonna look that up after the stream. Please don't post it. You will get banned by Nightbot, probably, maybe, who knows. It's literally a shark with multiple dickheads. <laughs> oh man, what a time to be alive. It enables the holders to flee without any any wild Pokemon encounter without fail. Oh, here's Hop. Huh? 
Well, I mean, unknown, of course. Like, why would you post a single dick in a spammy chat if you can post a, a dick hydra? Also, this fog is even worse than the first time we came here. Oh, hello. Oh, it's both of them. Okay. Greeled. The Rod. Is that like Lamau, but La Rod? They really are here. The sword and the shield Pokemon. I knew it. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two. Oh, you two. What in the world are you doing? What? Come off here, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those two, those short and shield Pokemon. They, they were right in front of us, but they just appeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from the other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. The writings say that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering weald sometime long, long ago. Did they really? Tar Sonya, thanks for digging into it. Even if it is just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield that those two used to carry is still here too. Zacian and Zamazenta. They must have been sleeping in the slumbering weald right next to your hometown all this time. Perhaps that's why no one has entered the deepest part of these woods for so long. As tempting as it is to just stop and try and catch every new Pokemon in this area, I really need to make sure I um, do plot because that's the whole reason for streaming tonight. <laughs> I can probably go for like another hour and a half max. Unknown asks, wait, do you actually get to wield the sword and shield? I suspect there's been a miscommunication and the Pokemon are themselves the sword and shields, but that's my um that's my guess. I haven't seen it. Would you take a look at that, Lily? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. Don't ruin it for you. Well I this is like near the end of the game. So if you don't want to be ruined, uh you might not want to be here. <laughs> Oh, but there you go. There's a sword and a shield right there. Gropher says just by Skyrim. Yes. I have considered streaming that, by the way. See that, Lenny? Sword and the shield. The ledgers really were true. You obtained a rusted shield. It's said that a hero used this shield to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will, be re will really be able to stop the darkest day, but, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all we've got. Go for us. Are there day and night cycles in this game? Um, I think there are, but it never gets to fully dark. And it's not nearly as much as every game since Gen 2. He's probably still at Amalok Stadium trying to keep the darkest day at bay. Want to grab a ta flying taxi to head right there? Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of this gloomy forest and fly back to Amalok. Does it affect wild Pokemon encounters? No, it doesn't. Unfortunately, I forgot to switch out my English accent. It doesn't appear to, as far as I can tell. I can't, I haven't, like, I, I've been able to find Hoot Hoots in the day, for example, unknown, so... Yeah, I haven't, it's always affected it before, but as far as I can tell, it's only weather that affects um, wild Pokemon changes. Well, if it isn't really not, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match and something like this has to happen. 
And Chairman Rose thinking that an energy pouring from a darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future? It sort of seems a bit bad, if you ask me. I can't follow out how it's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day or the Chairman or whatever. I'm going to edit. I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That op never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been armed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon and we got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Galar region? Of course I am. I'm going to be the champion, so I might as well get practice early, right? Our greatest ever champion and the greatest ever challenger along with her fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger. Into Amalok Stadium with you. Hello, Oleana. Do you need me to fuck you up again? G Gym Challenger, you must help me. I mean, please help me. My Pokemon suddenly dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as a Ternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. That's right, all the Pokemon of the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that was to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what's going on. Oliana, you're an idiot. Challenger Linny, up above, the champion is facing the darkest day. Yes, the lift will take you to the underground power plant. Unknown says, I like the plot in Y, where someone used a Pokemon to win a war by killing the whole world. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they were getting a bit ridiculous with the plots for a while there. All right. I'm going to yawn, ready? <gasps> that was me yawning. Oh, man, this is going to take fucking forever, isn't it? No? No? Oh, thank God, no. Perhaps, yes. Now's not the time to use this. Try talking to Chairman Rose. No, I want to waste time! Fuck you! Huh? Yeah. What? I saw this. We need help, Lee. right there's an egg and what do you plan on doing gym challenger I plan on helping the champion well, I'm afraid I can't allow that the champion is the one who needs to control it and must I explain myself from your perspective I suppose it must seem that I'm doing something terrible I don't expect you to understand but I must provide the Gala region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity it's my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving the wishing stars to each Narcissus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hamelock? That was all a part of our experiments to awaken each Narcissus. You must understand, I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Time to fuck him up. Oh my god, his tie is tied like a rose. I didn't even notice that before now. Now, is this like one part water? I don't remember. Let's find out. Nope! It's bug steel. Okay. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't you think that's unfair? Yes. Yes, it is unfair. And you're on the uh, receiving end of that unfairness. Fuck you. 
Clink Clang. No, I won't switch my Pokemon. Thank you very much. If all he has are like physical steel types, he's going to be in a world of pain. Unknown, you think he's wearing a toupee? I don't think he's wearing a toupee. I think he has an undercut on one side. It's like a hipster haircut. I will not switch my Pokemon, thank you. You reckon it's a toupee? Big rips here. Perserker. No, I think we're good. Hello, Kai. How are you doing? Why does he only have steel type? I think that's kind of the idea that he's like, like, because they're like industrialists or something. They use steel types. Hello, Lexi. How are you? Lexi, are you American? Did you have Turkey Day yesterday? This is a... Uh, this guy is an elephant. I'm going to keep the current Pokemon, but I might have to switch to Mudsdale. We'll see. You got super full on Turkey? Nice. Kai says Night of the Angry PFOs was good fun. Is that like a, a specific ac acronym or a slang acronym? Oh man, look at this guy. Copper Raja. Guys, I've had new slang stuck in my head all day. All day! Yeah, yeah, it knows Max Quake, I thought so. And he lived. My baby lived. Go for asks what slang? It's a song, new slang by the Shins. It just came back into my head when I said the word slang and I was like, God fucking damn it. I went a whole two or three hours without thinking of the song. It was your family's first traditional Thanksgiving in quite a while because there was a feud. Oh man. I'm glad that you had a good time. With only, um, with only my one George. He's a good boy. Look at the good boy. <laughs> what a prick. What a prick! I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled, that sure was satisfying. Look at all that money. Most impressive, Linny. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything, but it's too bad if it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened it in Artus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. Is this guy the princess? So he thinks he's both the savior of the world and a princess. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches. I hadn't noticed. But I think I can stop talking now. 
I think the champion should have captured Evdenatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going to hop. I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Let's go see how our champion is doing. This courage. You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Fuck off, prick! Oh, I wonder if there's any items around here that I can take her. Oh, it looks kind of like a Dynamax Pokeball, doesn't it? I'm so overleveled. Yeah, yeah, I'm so overleveled. I did, like I said, I took two days between my last stream of this and today, and that entire time I was, um, I was like playing in the wild area, just catching Pokemon and having fun. So, yeah. All right, Lenny, I'm ready for anything. Are you? Uh, give me a moment. Did my Pokemon automatically heal up? No, they did not. Good enough. Lexi, you actually knew someone with that haircut? A haircut? Haircut? Haircut, and they were a, a pretentious art student. Oh, wow. Kai has clarified his use of acronym. <laughs> and um, it, it stands for Pissed Fell Over. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, I gotta stretch. Hang on. You live 15 minutes from Yale. I don't know very much about American universities. Is Yale very pretentious? I know it's like one of the fancy ones. Alrighty. Let's go. Wouldn't expect any less from my rival. Now, come on. We've got to help Lee. Well, there he is with Charizard. Man, look at that thing. I kind of love it, but it's pretty terrifying. You came to help me in spite of the danger. Thanks, Hop, and you, Linny. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternatus was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. This is the plot I was actually hoping to stream for you. So good. Regular old Ultra Ball. Seriously? No, it's a Pokeball! Why would you use a Pokeball? Why would you use a Pokeball? It fucking broke the Pokeball. Why in God's name wouldn't you use a Master? This seems like the exact situation when you should use a Master Ball. It's not like we don't know they exist. Jeff <laughs> says the student culture at Yale is terrible. Jeez. I am so overleveled, I am more powerful than this super powerful Pokemon. Jesus Christ. I don't know what type this is, but uh, we're going to find out. Dynamax cannon? What the fuck? Uh, probably part... Oh my god, I burned it? Oh, that is good fucking luck! Josh seems like it wants to be petted. Oh, poor baby. 
Um, if it's Pop Dragon, I'm gonna go with Ring. No, let's see what happens. No, John. John. Try heavy slam. Oh, it is. I mean, it's dragon type. Let's um. Let's just do a little bit of cheap healing here. You might get to see my typical um, strategy for defeating or rather wearing down legendary types, which is just to essentially let them be killed a little bit by at a time with status effects, but we'll see. Um, I don't want to accidentally kill it is the issue because I want to try and catch it. I'll use double kick. No, I'm burned. Oh, that really didn't much have much of an effect at all, did it? Alright, well, we'll switch out. And I think we'll switch out... ...to Ziggy. Unknown, this is like the legendary Pokemon here. Oh, bad, bad defense. I basically just want someone with good defense against... Maybe I literally should just switch back to George. I don't want to say let Ziggy die, but let Ziggy die and um, switch back to George. What have I got here? I think I have some timer balls somewhere as well. Yeah, they are. Okay. But I can't use it yet. Can't? Well, I'm supposed to just kill it? Well, fucking fine then. Or maybe it's part... something other than dragon as well. Can I throw a Pokeball now? Nope! Fucking fine then. Yeah, Skeletoxin, please don't dox yourself. <laughs> Is that guy, like, exploding out his butt? He's so angry, he's exploding out his butt. What the fuck is happening now? Is this the darkest day? Did you ever get so angry you destroyed the world? Oh, boy. Oh boy, I don't like that very much. Holy shit. Hand, I know. Are we fucking playing Smash Brothers here? Wow, it's huge. Let's take it on together, Lenny. Where the fuck is Leon? Can I Dynamax? Nope, still can't Dynamax. 
Um, we'll go with extreme speed. George can't use any moves due to a mysterious power. What? I can't use any moves. George is thinking about camping, though. Um, what about... I can't use items, either. I'll switch out to... Uh, sword and shield in a slumber and wield. I still can't use items though. Can I run? Now is not the time for that. Alright. Still can't use moves. Lily, use that shield. It might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. I got it. Unknown is very excited that you actually get to use the Sword and Shield. Here they are. Yo, what the fuck? Is this the Halloween theme? Infinity says that George uses fantasies to escape his difficult feelings. He's faced with this terrifying Pokemon and he's just thinking about camping. An Arcanine we can all relate to. Oh shit! Damn. There she! Sif! How many people do you reckon called their Zacian Sif? Intrepid Sword. Zamazenta's Dauntless Shield. Alright. Can I fight now? Oh wow, that doesn't do shit, does it? Hey, it looks like we can use our moves now. Thanks to Zaskin and Zamazenta, that is. Lexi says, Pokemon Sword Shield, now starring Abyssal Elder Gods. Pretty much. Wormwind, wow. How dare you hurt sheep? You asshole! Double Edge is a very bad move to use right now! Outstanding. Hop continues to demonstrate why it is me that will be the champion of the Gala region. Can I catch that thing? I legitimately do not know. Uh, I'm going to try to swap out for Genevieve. We've reached the point of the night where I'm tired and my pronunciation is reverting back to um, before I knew the French pronunciation of Genevieve. Dang. Oh, it's so cool! Behemoth Bash. Yeah, 
that's the way. Do it. Fling your body into the enemy. Love it. Oh shit. No, no hurt. No hurt. How dare. It's part steel. Okay. Large frozen tuna. I see it. Yep. Gopher in chat said that the um, the sword that Zassian has looks like a large frozen tuna, and it does. Can you heal ally Pokemon? I should probably try and do that. Hey. Max Ooze, fuck. Oh my god, four health. Fuck that then, we're gonna swap to Mudsdale. If ground type attacks are super effective. This song is good. I am enjoying very much. I think the key here is that it's Zassian that's supposed to be killing. And Zamazent to a uh, lesser degree. They're doing so much more damage than, um, than I or... Pop is managing. Wyrm win. Snorlax survived because Snorlax is um, extremely high HP Pokemon. I reckon if Zacian attacks in this turn, um, we're good. That's in why. Maybe they only have like 3 HP or something. Hey guys, check out how much HP I have left. Hey! Killed by a big fucking horse! This is it, Lenny. Hurry, hurry, Lenny. Try to catch the Turnus Edadonis now. All right. We will be using an Ultra Ball. Well, I'll be goddamned. It was a guaranteed catch anyway. I should have used a better color match Pokeball. <laughs> Thank you for your input, Gopher. You use Great Balls for Kyogre for that reason, Jesus. <laughs> Three days later. A 
That's right, I caught the end of the world in a Pokeball. So Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke at a nod, so nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happens, but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Etanatus together with Damazenta and Zassium. And Lee's, well, he's been Lee. He's still not having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. It feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. Yeah, yeah it feels like it's been fucking forever for me, too! So come on, the match will be at Wyndham Stadium. Where else? Try it. Be careful not to use that Pokemon accidentally! Hey, a Mudsdale. Are you my Mudsdale? Brahim. No. I'm going to take a taxi to the stadium. You know, I caught the end of the world in a Pokeball. I feel like I'm allowed to take a taxi rather than walk. Uh, let's go to Wyndham Stadium, please. Oh, I'm going to take a drink of water. Oh man, can you imagine how um, nauseous you would be given the bouncing up and down as Corviknight flaps its wings? My Pokemon were probably at full health, but you know, force of habit and all that. Now, how much money do I have? Of money. I love it. Let's use the Pokemon that almost killed everyone. I don't even know if it's going to be in my box. Nope. Yeah, it's there. Yep. <laughs> yep, that sure is in my... in my... yep. Just got the end of the world in the digitized Pokemon hoarding system next to Gremlin. Next to Gremlin. Very nice. All right. I'm not going to be using that. Just leave it in a box on its own. <laughs> and name the box do not open. <laughs> oh, hello, Team Yell. How you doing? Go for asks, does anyone else get an aneurysm when they see people commenting like they're experts on anything, but they're actually not correct? Yes. Yes, indeed. It's very annoying. Man, everyone fucking loves me. Let's go, Lenny. Let's go. All right, and I do have George out the front with the amulet coin. All right. Let's go. This is the final match against the champion, the championship match. You ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him. And change into your uniform and head out onto the pitch. It makes you even more annoyed, Gopher, when it looks like people are like taking that on board as if that's knowledge. Yeah. Yep, misinformation sure is popular. But it always has been. <sighs> My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Lenny. They know you're the one who caught Etonatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. What is Hop? Chop liver? I guess I was the one that caught it, but it's not like he didn't contribute. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. 
Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess is the greatest of challenges. Crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion really is. Come on, Lenny. Let's make this the final match that will go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. Am I wearing those sunglasses inside? You bet your ass. You're looking a little bit nervous there, Leon. You were afraid to fight someone who finished the job you couldn't. Aegis Slash. Oh, do I have some bad news for you, my friend? Gopher asks, should I eat cherry tomatoes with pasta or grilled tomatoes? I think you should have cherry tomatoes with pasta. Yeah, dude, you are absolutely um, delaying the inevitable here. This is the first time in ages that I am fighting someone who has Pokemon of a higher level than me. A super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. Yeah, he can, he can hit. So hopefully I won't fuck this up. That would be embarrassing. Haxorus. Now that is a dragon type. So we're going to switch Pokemon to Jean-Bierre and hope for the best. Haxor is the final form of Axu. Yes, it is. I kind of like this um, final battle theme. Iron Tail, fuck. God fucking damn it. Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory. Yeah, I've, I know, I've been doing that. Fucking slow psychic type. Christ. Um. What is your. I need to see his. I need to see defense here. Let's give this a go. I agree, Infinity. Like, no one has ever mentioned type matchups before. The only thing I can think of is that, like, they're expecting kids who played Let's Go as their first game to be playing this or something. Let's use Earthquake and see what we can do. That's not what I want. I want, um... I might lose this, guys. Isn't Outrage supposed to reduce your attack after you use it or some shit?
or is it just outrageously strong for no reason? Or is this what mold? Oh, it, it confuses you after a while. Okay, that's what it does. God damn it! I really, really need a break here. This is a terrible strategy. But as I said, when I'm streaming, my brain does not have the capacity to make up decent strategy. Really? One turn? You bastard! One turn of confusion! Oh, I mean, apparently Mudzell doesn't give a shit though, because it's dozing off. At least with pressure, we'll run out of PP faster. Better, ma better match up. Did I just send out a dragon? No. Corviknight is still flying. But if it knows Flamethrower, that's bad. Yeah, I know Outrage is a dragon type move. Which is why I'm especially pissed off that it killed um, jean Pierre. Oh, critical hit, that's good. Cinderace, I don't remember what Pokemon... Oh, yes I do. Um, we need Mudsdale, fuck. Pokemon is not high enough in HP, it won't tank a hit, so we're gonna have to heal again, which is not how I like to start a battle, but such is life. I should have brought more hyper potions. I haven't seen this move before. I swear to God, if he gets a critical hit, I am going to be pissed. No? Did he miss? What the fuck was that? Alright. Seismitoad. We will switch Pokemon and we will switch to Ringo. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. I am actually have to pay. I am actually having to pay attention for the first time in this game. I'm not kidding. This is the first time in this game that I've had to pay attention. All right, let's use drum beating. Good stuff. Unknown, that is quite some timing. Dragapult. I don't know what that Pokemon is. Um, so I'm going to keep my current Pokemon. Now, is this his final, or does he have one more? He's got one more. All right. Um, I'm going to try drum beating first. I think this will probably be... Oh, it goes flamethrower. Good. Yeah, it's not very effective, is it? Um, the question is, do I have a go here, or do I use this opportunity to 
sacrifice Ringo and heal up someone else that I'm going to need later. Good night, Skeletoxin. Have a good one. I think we're going to use this opportunity to heal someone else. And that's someone. It's going to be George. Thanks to your service, Ringo. That's, um... Wait, no, that's what... Oh, hang on. I want bag. Yes, bag. Use that on John. Shadow Ball. Hot Dark, my buddy. Spec Defense down. Alright, well, we'll deal with any outcomes of that as and when they come to hand, but I need to be at full or better health. Is that again? This time on John. Curious that it's continuing to use Shadow Ball. Oh, a critical hit? F no, it wasn't a critical hit. That's bad. Um, shit, well, there's no point in continuing with this Pokemon then if that's the level of damage that it's getting done to it. I'm just going to give high horsepower one go, but it's going to be faster than me, so... All right, thank you for your service, John. Who to switch to? Give George a go. Fuck. Yes! Oh, that's lucky. Alright, so whatever it is, it's typed so that Dark is super effective. Please don't kill. <gasps> oh my god! Guys, don't you think this is a little bit of a, a difficulty leap? Charizard last, of course it's Charizard. Fuck. Like, it was... I was over-leveled for literally every fight until now. I'm not finished having a champion time here. And I won't let anyone else finish it for me. Oh boy. big my doggy is. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time. How 
is anybody Dynamaxing when the Pokemon that has Dynamax energy is locked in my Pokemon system? Oh boy. Okay, this is doable. But Ziggy has very bad defense. I'm worried about a one-hit kill here. It's time for champion time to turn up the heat. Charizard, time for a G-Max wildfire. Jesus. Burned? Fuck. Fuck! You heading off, Gopher? All right. Have a good one. I can't win. I can't win. Sorry, Paul. Dynamax him again. Yes. Critical hit, seriously? Oh my god. Everyone worked so hard all together to make that happen, and yet only two po the two Pokemon that are still up will get the experience. That's so frustrating. Go. <laughs> Did it. I honestly thought I would lose. My time as champion is over, but what champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. is long black. I'm going to be very, very angry if the game has crashed. Oh my, I literally thought the game had crashed. That was such a long break. Holy Jesus. That's my mum. And Hop. And our Munchlax. Congratulations, Linny. You've even beaten the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right? I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Linny, what you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create that bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes, your champion, Linny. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of a future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what she can do. Go guys, this is what I wanted to do. Get to the credits on stream. Where's my fucking Hall of Fame though? I'd like to know. Usually uh, Pokemon will show you the Hall of Fame before it shows you the credits.
They're all having a fucking rave out on the pitch. The groundskeeper is going to be so shitty with them. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love Lanoon's new evolution. Do you reckon that's my Ringo? Or it's just some other... Some other monkey fella. Like a professional musician monkey fella. Whee! So I'm gonna see basically what... Um, what's going on after the credits and uh, let it save, and then I'm gonna go to bed because I have to, as I said, be up early to catch a bus to Sydney tomorrow. But um, yeah, no, so what do I think of this game? I guess is a good thing to talk about during the credits, right? Um, I have enjoyed it. Um, as I've said, I feel it was a bit light plot-wise, so if the plot is very important to you for a Pokemon game, uh, this might not be the best one for you, but if you like catching Pokemon, it is quite good. So um, that's fun. Um, I've got like 40 hours in it at this point, I think. So, um, so I can't say that I didn't get my money's worth out of it, considering. Hello, Crest Bandimaro. This game has an ending. That's right. I just beat the champion. So yeah, Toby Fox get out of the credits. Was he in the credits? I wasn't looking. <laughs> Which song did he write? I'd love to know which was the song that he wrote. Good night, Kai. Thank you for being here for the ending. But yeah, so... Um, I think if you enjoy Pokemon, it's a solid entry. I would have liked more plot, as I've said many times at this point. Um, it makes me wish... Uh, for a few spin-offs, so with the poker jobs thing, I, it makes me want to um, to have a game built around that. So like you raise Pokemon to go off and poker jobs, and that's like the central gameplay mechanic. Um, I can't believe that there are literally credits for the Pikachu and Eevee voices these days. Also, Gigantamax Meowth. I haven't not I have not Gigantamax my Meowth yet. I haven't heard Toby Fox's song yet. Interesting. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's simple. It's simple. I would have liked, as a, you know, as a 30-year-old adult who's been playing Pokemon for 20 years, I would like something a bit more complicated. I would love a Final Fantasy with Pokemon. I would love, as I said, like a Pokejobs-based spin-off. I want my fucking Pokemon stuff too, for God's fucking sake, Game Freak. Fuck, please. Um, something more like... Pokemon Coliseum, again, with more of a an interesting gameplay mechanic, more story. So many times throughout this playthrough, I was like, uh, can I just like play the adult story, please? That's so much more interesting to me. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here and watching. Oh my God, it's Wooloo. All right, now I want Katamari, but with Wooloo. The end. Can I save? Did it save? I fucking hope it saved. Can you imagine if it didn't save? And it's like one of those RPGs where um, when you defeat the final boss, it's just like, that's it. Oh no, here we go, good. It's me on the on the title sh um, screen now. Look at that. Check that out. It's me with my team. I wish it would have sorted them by um, like size a little bit better, but such is life. I feel like I need a better catchphrase than such is life. Valestian, is this all I'm waiting for or are we... Um, we're waiting for something else to happen after this.
This is fine. All right. I will press A to continue then. Corvanite got the Mike Wazowski treatment. I don't think I understand. Oh, is this the post game? It's telling me to go back there. That's all it's doing. Oh, I'm in my room. Okay. Dance. So dance. So dance. Dance. Sweet. Can I sleep? No. The shield logo covered him up. Congratulations, champion here. I've got a little something for you, a celebration. Oh, now I get the Master Ball. Really could have used that a little bit earlier. Professor Magnolia, why you didn't have to come all this way? After everything Lenny has achieved, it's really... Oh, hang on, no, we're Magnolia again, shit. After everything Lenny has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, uh, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Lily and her friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Lily, please, do what you believe is best. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamax for him. All right, well, the only goal now is adventure to your heart's content. The Gala region is yours to explore. So I'm gonna go to bed here. I think I do get a chance to catch um, Zamazenta uh, for those who are asking. So um, I'm going to go back inside so you can get a good look at my character before we finish up. Here we go. Cool. Get, get in the center. That's going to really annoy me unless I can get her in the center. Close enough. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me for this stream tonight. How long did we go for? Almost four hours. That is long, but there's still plenty of time for me to get some good rest before... Um, I have to head off to Sydney tomorrow, which I'm very happy about. So I'm going to leave you for the night or the morning for those of you <laughs> where it's not nighttime. Uh, take care. I will not be around tomorrow, but I will be around on Sunday uh, with more Rage's Awakening. I'm sorry, Link's Awakening. I'm sorry, Link's Rage. I'm sorry, Lynn's Rage. Lynn's Rage on Sunday with Link's Awakening. Until then, guys, stay safe. Take care. Drink water. All that stuff. And I will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.